Now, uh, Ozil's resignation from the uh, national team has also raised questions about the behaviour of sponsors. Helena Humphrey at the business desk has more. Indeed, Phil. Uh, Mesut Ozil's accusations of racist treatment extend to his sponsors, namely Mercedes-Benz, a major sponsor of the German national team. Now, Ozil said that the car company dropped him from their ad campaigns after those photos of Ozil and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan were published. Mercedes is still reportedly examining the claims, but Ozil's largest sponsor, Adidas, has announced it will continue its relationship with him despite the recent controversy. To talk more about this now, we're joined here in the studio by Wolfgang Menning, a professor at the University of Hamburg with a specialisation in sports economics. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Now, sponsoring in sports is huge business and in the wake of the re uh, resignation of Ursel, there have been questions as well about his sponsors um, and they've been asked to reply. Do you think that this case could change sponsorship in sports? Yeah, it could change it because... Uh... Sponsors always have the opportunity to choose between, let's say, event sponsoring, like Olympic Games or World Cups, or individual uh, sponsoring. And uh, now there's a new dimension. It's a political risk with uh, uh, individuals as well. So it could be that in the future, sponsors will look more for event sponsoring. But do you really think that's the case? Because let's be very honest about sports personalities or indeed anybody in the public eye. There's always the potential that they could stir criticism or controversy or misdemeanours. I mean, you only have to think of uh, Messi, for example, and, and tax fraud. So why should this be different now in the case of Ötze? Yeah, but because at least in Germany, we didn't have such prominent cases where athletes uh, somehow intervened into politics and uh, if you ever, whatever you do in politics, you will have uh, people who are in favor of it and who are against it. And that's a risk for sponsors. And up to now, we didn't have it in such an ex extreme case. But it is likely to continue. We're living in an age of the digital media. So shouldn't sponsorship companies and these large companies just reconcile themselves with that? Or do you really think that they are going to start saying, OK, every individual is too risky? No, they will continue with individual sponsors as well. But again, they have a choice. And probably I could imagine that uh, when they have the choice, prices for event sponsoring will increase and prices uh, and the price for individual sponsors will maybe lower in the future. Because if you turn this case around, I think we've started to come to the uh, conversation now that nationality, identity are complex and we need to recognise that. Couldn't this then be an opportunity for large companies with a lot of money to, to foster that understanding that this case has shown that we need to understand, we need oh, to talk oh, about? Oh, definitely. Uh, Özil was a case where Mercedes-Benz, for example, took a chance of his um, multinational background. Uh, I think he, had, he might have had more sponsorships than others just because he was so, let's say, multinational. Uh, but uh, now they see that there's a risk as well. So they will, they will uh, try to figure out whether the personality of people allows to take profit from the multinational background or not. I mean, we've been talking a lot about this Ertzl case, but over recent years we've seen various European footballers say, when I play well, I'm German or I'm French, for example, if I have a bad day, I'm very much labelled as the immigrant. I mean, have you seen as a sports economist other cases perhaps where people haven't benefited from such lucrative sponsorship uh, contracts because of their, their backgrounds? Well, there are, there are no hard figures about it. But take Mercedes-Benz, for example. It's a multinational firm which wants to sell its cars not only in Germany or Western European countries, but wants to sell it in Muslim countries as well and wants to sell it to Muslim people in Germany as well. I think they will have a very hard time to discriminate against people with Muslim background. They will not do it. All right, Wolfgang Menning, professor at the University of Hamburg with a specialisation in sports economics. Thank you for sharing your insights.